All right, so the primer is all dry. Our panel is installed and we're gonna be doing a job with you guys today. That's gonna be a first for multiple reasons. We've got this Rivian van that we're gonna go ahead and get this thing shot, but we're gonna be doing it in the blow up spray booth. So we've got the biggest spray booth that they make to put this here van in. I'll take you guys over there and show you that, but we're gonna get this thing prepped out. We're gonna get it all ready. We're gonna shoot it. We're gonna bring it out. We're gonna take a look at it and uh, see how good the outcome is using a blow up spray booth. So I am a professional. You guys know I spray in a nice downdraft spray booth. So it's gonna be good to see my opinion on what I think of this because I'm looking forward to actually trying it out myself. All right, so this is it and this is a big one. So what we did was we brought it inside the shop we blew it up yesterday. I wanted to make sure of how it all worked. Got in it, checked it out, and I uh, wanted to see how it was gonna do for the breakers because sometimes I heard that these will pop the breakers. So we didn't have any trouble. We let it run for about four hours yesterday because this will be in the booth for a while being that we do not have any way to heat up the paint to get it to dry. So it's gonna be all naturally with the hardeners that we choose to paint this one with. But look at the size of this thing. So. It's taking up a massive area here, and I'll show you guys how it actually works. All right, so this here particular booth comes with two blowers. So one of them blows up the outside of the booth, almost like a bounce house. And then the other one is the one that tries to move the air actually through the booth. So this one here, we got it blown up. It's a big one, and uh, that is definitely a big truck that we're doing. So we're gonna be doing our normal prep work on that. And on this one here, I decided to go with a solvent base coat because I'm not gonna be able to play with the booth to change the temperature. And that water base is a little bit temperamental. So I wanna go ahead and get this thing knocked out with a solvent this time. So for you solvent guys, we're gonna be shooting this one in the uh, PPG solvent and uh, having a nice outcome on it, hopefully. So you guys know this is a first for me and I thought it would be good because this is the biggest one and we got a very big truck that we're gonna be handling on this here uh, episode. So let's go ahead, get this thing blowed up. We'll get that prepped out and we'll see how this booth actually works. All right, we got it in there and we're gonna go ahead and get it taped up and then we'll pull our plastic over the top. That's gonna be one of the biggest things to getting that over this big thing. So let's go ahead and get it wrapped up. All right, we've got it all masked up. We're gonna go ahead and get it cleaned up really good and blow it really good because once we get paint in there, I want this to settle down, being there's not really a lot of air movement in this booth. So we're gonna go ahead and prep salt it, waterborne it, and I am spraying the door, but I'm doing that in the other booth with another job that I'm spraying as well. So let's go ahead, get it cleaned up, and then we'll get suited up and we'll start shooting it and see how this booth really produces. All 
All right, so we've got it all ready to go. It's clean, we blew it, we tacked it, and now we're gonna get into the sealer. We are gonna be putting a sealer on that because that was a brand new part that we put in the front section of that with the E-code on it. So I wanna make sure we get good adhesion. Then we're gonna be moving into the old Deltron. So I did spray this for many, many years before I switched over to the Enviro Base. And uh, this is a good product for the solvent. So let's go ahead, we'll get it sealed up and uh, then we'll be moving into the base coat. All right, we're ready to roll. We got our uh, sealer all mixed up and we're gonna be using the DV1 on this one. I wanna lay it down nice and flat because we're painting the billboard over here. So we're gonna go ahead and tack it one more time. I let the booth run. I had to close up the flaps on it. You guys see there, it's got a double uh, chamber area in there and you wanna make sure that you open the one, close it before you open the other one. That way you don't have just raw air coming into the booth. So let's go ahead and get this thing shot. All right, so, so far so good. It uh, laid out nice. I could see what I'm doing, but now is the best time for the old Lumalite. So we're gonna be using the Exodus on this one. I can uh, feel what I'm doing with the sealer because I'm just getting coverage over that area for adhesion. But with my base coat, I wanna make sure that I can see what I'm doing. So we're moving into the Exodus and we're gonna be using the sunlight on this one. And I think it's gonna come out beautiful, especially being I have this light. So. I can't believe it actually isn't working bad at all in there so far. And I think this is really working nice because we have one of the biggest ones that they make. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna let that flash off and then we're gonna be moving right into the base coat. So far, so good. We put one coat of the base and that Lumalite is working perfect in that kind of a setup because all we have is the clear plastic on the sides of what we're picking up from the shop and also the daylight out there. So shout out to that Lumalite coming in handy once again. So we put one coat of the base on and this is a solid color. So we're gonna apply one more coat of base. I'm not gonna show that to you, but then we're gonna get back in there and clear this one. And I'm not gonna really use the light for that because I can see better from the actual sheen. I'm used to painting in uh, low light areas when I started out in this business. So I like to see the reflection of the side of the vehicle without being blinded. And we're gonna go ahead and put on two coats of the clear on this one, so. All right, so we put our clear on it, and so far it looks pretty decent. What we're gonna do is let it get fully evacuated. I really can't see too much in there. It does have a lot of overspray. It's not what I'm used to, especially with a nice spray booth. So we're gonna go ahead and let that thing clear out, and then we'll get it out of there and look at it because we can't really see much in there, especially right now with all the overspray on it. So let's go ahead, we'll let it clear out, we'll let it dry, we'll get it out, and we'll take a look at it.
All right, so what do you want to hear about, the good or the bad first? Really, the bad is only going to really affect me. And uh, so the good part about this whole job was that the color was on the money with the Deltron solvent base. And uh, the bad is that I'm going to be having to buff the side of this thing. And the funny part is it brought back so many memories painting something like this. And you guys know I've been painting for a long, long time. So as soon as I smelled that solvent Deltron, it brought back all the years of the painting. And listen, I didn't always start out in a top of the line spray booth like this. When I was doing my first paint job, and for many years, I sprayed them out in the middle of my shop and you had to deal with all the dirt, bugs. And I never knew what it was to have a clean paint job. So most of my satisfaction was to you know, buff that job out because that's when that job really looked awesome when it got done. So I couldn't wait for the next day to come after I got done painting something to get up to buff that job. And I can tell you what, after 28 years, it's changed. I couldn't sleep last night knowing that I had to come in here and buff the side of a billboard and there really wasn't much glory out of it. So it's definitely funny, but I'll tell you what, I wouldn't have changed painting this thing for nothing in that because it brought back the old days of what I had to deal with and what you guys deal with out there. So this isn't something that I would want to use on a day-to-day -day basis at all. But if you have something at your house that you want to shoot and you don't want to have bugs in it, you want to stay out of the elements and you don't want to overspray your whole neighborhood, this is something that you could pick up and get a decent job in it, but just know you're going to be wet sanding and buffing that job. And we did pick a big one to do. So I don't know that if you got a small job in there, it might work a lot better for you, but I had to get on ladders, hang over this thing, go back and forth. And uh, you really can't see that well. But the first thing I want to let you guys know about is make sure you're covered up well with respirators and eye protection because this thing has a lot of overspray in it and you almost can't even see what you're doing. So the best part about this job is we didn't get any runs and our color looks good, but I'm going to be the one buffing it out and I'm not afraid of work, but these things like this, there's really no satisfaction in it because this is a delivery truck. So if this was a custom paint job and at the end we had a beautiful, nice show car finish, it'd be one thing. But when this is done, nobody's going to care. And uh, so we just got to get it buffed out. And that's what I'm going to go here and do today. Get it buffed out and I'll show it to you guys all finished up once it's all done. All right, so yes, you can get a good finish out of a blow up spray booth, but you're gonna have to buy a buffer at the same time as you purchase that blow up spray booth, go ahead and get yourself a buffer and an assortment of pads because you're gonna be polishing it out to get a nice finish on it. So we spent the extra time, I went over it and a lot of shops wouldn't even be bothered doing something like this because this is a work truck. But to me, I want it to look up to the level that I like and I'm very happy with it now. The job is very presentable. The texture is perfect to the other side and this job looks like nothing was done to it. So that's the whole uh, goal at these jobs is making them look like nothing was done. And this one definitely looks like an unrepaired uh, van now. So I hope you guys liked it. We had some fun on this one. I'm definitely tired because even spraying this thing, holding that gun and going back and forth a million times, I was having to take a moment's break almost because it's a lot to hold that gun and go back and forth with it. So I hope you guys liked it and we'll see you guys in the next one.